Paget disease of the bone is caused by an increase in osteoclast and osteoblast activity, and it leads to abnormal bone structure, just to localized areas of bone. The bones become thickened, but although they're thickened, they actually fracture much more easily. Why this happens is not well understood. The patient, they're going to be older, they may be completely asymptomatic, they might have bone pain, they may have a lion-like facies, and they may complain of some hearing loss. On physical exam, you might see an enlarged jaw or a deformed jaw, and when you order labs, the calcium and the parathyroid hormone should be normal. The alkaline phosphatase, now that's going to be elevated because of the high bone turnover. So when ALKFOS is elevated, and that can happen for just a handful of reasons, keep Pagets on your differential, especially if it's just an isolated ALKFOS elevation in an older patient. X-rays are going to show osteolytic lesions of the bone. And to diagnose, you can go ahead and do that once you have that isolated ALKFOS elevation and those osteolytic lesions on x-ray. That's all you need. When it comes to treatment, you can use bisphosphonates, which causes an apoptosis of the osteoclast cells. But remember that there is that rare side effect of osteonecrosis of the jaw. You can use calcitonin, which will inhibit osteoclast activity. Also know that Paget's disease is also associated with osteosarcoma on the metaphysis of the long bones, usually surrounding the knee. So if a Paget's disease patient complains of pain in that area, they do deserve some imaging.